Look at this. It is 91 degrees in April. You gotta love that. Pitch and forge, everybody. Okay, so you know, when I'm the type of guy where when I go to a place, I'd like finding out a little bit about the history of the name of the place. And uh, this would be no different. So Pigeon Forge, and where do I get my uh, sources? And where did I get all my information from that old standby? Wikipedia. So Pigeon Forge essentially is, if you don't know this, it's in the Eastern Tennessee. It's right on the uh, edge of the Smoky Mountains. If you look over there in the distance, there they are. It's about from here where I'm at right now, it's probably about six, seven miles uh, to the entrance of the Smoky Mountains right past Gatlinburg and it's a huge tourist de destination and there's so much to do out here it's just insane how much they have out here from like um, music shows to restaurants to museums um, they're absolutely everywhere but the main thing out here it also attracts besides family is people like you and me riders uh, I've actually been through Pigeon Forge probably, I think this is my third time. Now I'm actually going to be living here permanently. So I'll be able to uh, hit these areas a lot more and tell you a little bit, uh, discover some new things that are actually going to be around this place. But for the sake of this, I was just going to take you through and show you a couple of the sites as I'm stuck at this light for five minutes. But the kind of the, a brief history of it, um, the name, where it came from, um, there's a river that's uh, by here, and it's, it goes through the entire county of Sevierville, which is where Gatlinburg is, and uh, Sevierville, which is the name of a city, and Pigeon Forge. And uh, it's called uh, the Little Pigeon River, I believe, Little Pigeon River. And uh, there's... So what happened was, uh, many, many years ago, not like last week or anything, the uh, river got its name from these little thing called passenger pigeons. Passenger pigeons, they look like doves. Now unfortunately they're dead now because they're extinct and I think they went extinct in the early 20s. Uh, you know how that goes, they can't really do much about it. Goes along the lines of the dodo bird. When they were, uh, there's dude like the 1800s or 1700s, they built um, a thing down here called an iron forge and an iron forge right by the Little Pigeon River. And hence, that's where the name of the city came from. The name of the city came from those passenger pigeons that just like inundated uh, the rivers out here. And I guess they're like, when they did uh, exist, there were thousands and thousands of them that migrated out here. And then that iron forge they built, which is now in a place uh, called the Old Mill, which I don't think we'll see today, but it's an uh, old mill that replaced the iron forge, hence Pigeon Forge. There you go, there's your history for today. But with Pigeon Forge, there is a ton of places. And I was saying, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful road going into the Smokies. The biggest drawback is what you could see right now. And remember, we're in April, so this isn't even peak season. But, you know, talking to a couple of locals out here, and now I guess I have to become a local soon, um, they're saying now it's year-round, that it's really starting the last couple of years and it's really picked up where they don't just get business, you know, from May till September, October, even in the winter time, uh, this place is hopping. And uh, like when I first came down here a couple weeks ago, uh, when I was doing some moving stuff, and I've officially haven't 100% moved yet. I'll be 100% moved from Maryland in about a month. So I'm only here right now. My family's still back in Maryland. But anyway, they, um, I came down on spring break. So the first time I came down here, I'm like, holy crap, this is insane. And today, and this is actually a weekday that we're on right now. So even during the weekday at, what time is it now? It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, there's just a ton of traffic. So, but at the same time, it doesn't take a long time to get through it. And what I'm learning, which is absolutely awesome. Oh, hold on a second. Well, that doesn't look like a normal ambulance. Well, they got some cool uh, cop cars out here. Got some explorers. Got a dude with a, looks like a... A trailer on the, not a trailer, but one of those uh, covers. I've never seen that before. Let's see if people move out of the way, all these uh, tourists. Uh, but saying that, uh, now I lost my train of thought. Damn, uh, policeman. Um, there's just so much to do out here. And uh, I wanted to give you guys, to just show you a couple sites. You know, like coming up here right now, 
uh, they've got this funky building and I'm gonna get over in this right lane here and show you what it looks like and I had no idea what this place was when I first came out here it's called Wonderworks and uh, it's like a, it's a kids place it's like a kids museum like you could go in and do some different activities and stuff I thought it was a restaurant uh, but it's called Wonderworks and uh, you'll see it here in a second it's everybody and their mother is slowing down I get it come on people move out of the way for the policeman but see how it's kind of like an upside down building? That is just such badass right there. And then uh, as you keep going down, there's just so many different restaurants. They've got a thing up here that it's on the right and they advertise the heck out of this with a bunch of billboards. It's called the Hatfield and McCoy's. And it's like a dinner feud. Um, you know, they've got this thing that's you'll see in just a minute here called the Titanic Museum. I have no idea why there's a Titanic Museum in Pigeon Forge. But nonetheless, there's actually, here's something you'll learn. There's actually, I believe, five different Titanic museums in this country. Now, I, if I remember right, one is in um, uh, Branson, Missouri. Uh, I believe there's one up north or up um, in Massachusetts, if I remember right. I don't remember. But um, there's five of them. And, like, each one is different. Um, and I've never been in this one, but eventually if you're a Titanic fan and then you want to sit out and say that I'm on top of the world crap in front of it there, there you go. You could do that now. Uh, but they, they have uh, like a crime museum. They've got um, uh, wax, Ripley's Believe It or Not. So it is definitely a destination to um, take the family, honestly. I think this would be really good if you have a family. There's actually a bypass that will go around here, but it's a bunch of back roads. It's not like a true bypass. Now, there is a bypass to Gatlinburg, which is about five miles from here. That'll take you around the whole city of Gatlinburg, which I'd highly recommend if you're riding a bike, unless you have to see Gatlinburg. If you don't, then uh, take the bypass for sure. Uh, but this, you do have to kind of take some different back roads. Uh, like up here on the left, a big thing, uh, the tourist is the Dollywood. So they've got, uh, and I haven't actually been to Dollywood. But that's actually over the left about a mile or a mile and a half. So a lot of families come out here. So coming up on your right here, um, we have the Titanic Museum. And I, it's pretty cool, actually, that they have this. And hopefully you'll see it in a second. So before that, on the left, they've got this Beyond the Lens, that building right over there um, with how it's on its side. And I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm assuming that it has something to do with multimedia, if it's Beyond the Lens. Uh, you know, something to do with photography, but I haven't dug into that enough. One thing I have found out about out here is this place is like, I don't know what the deal is, but I've never seen more pancake restaurants than I have out here. I mean, like I'm used to IHOP, Bob Evans, Denny's, uh, you know, different, like the chain ones, but you come out here and they're everywhere. I think there's like five different restaurants that cater specifically to like pancakes and I don't know if like Tennessee if like they're exotic ingredients that they put in their pancakes but last time I checked it's it's what flour milk eggs sugar vanilla <laughs> or baking soda uh and, sh and, I, and I can't think what else is <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on what's in pancakes but it's not like that stuff's like grown in just in the Tennessee mountains so but for some reason uh it's very very uh there's a ton of pancakes so if you like pancakes this is the place to be all right there you go there's the white star line titanic and the place looks pretty freaking packed. And then there's the replica of the Titanic. So I bet it's pretty cool in there uh, checking that place out. But that's neat, right? It's a cool little picture. Look, there's the iceberg right there. See, you wouldn't get this if you were driving fast. You only can see this when you're, like, stuck in traffic like we are now. And they've got a couple um, Harley uh, dealerships in this area. Now, there's only one in Pigeon Forge. And I believe it's called Rocky Top. I might be wrong on that. But... Um, and that's about a mile from here. The big one that a lot of people talk about is the uh, Smoky Mountain one, which is in Murrayville. Not Maryville, which is what I said it when I first came out here. I said, hey, let's go to Maryville. You know, you, you're just basically putting a sign on that I don't live here. So they um, had to teach me the ways of the uh, lingo out here. So, you know, when I first came out here, I mentioned this earlier, I called this Severville, when it's actually Severeville. Knoxville is actually Knoxville like full uh, Maryville's Maryville uh, stuff like that so it's like if you want to fit in with the locals and you and you're not from Tennessee you got to pronounce the uh, cities right so I had to learn that really quick and and then you know I, it's so funny man because Maryland's neutral we're like Switzerland man 
you're not necessarily considered a northerner and you're not necessarily considered a southerner. Even in the Civil War, they were kind of like they stayed, a, they were in the middle, right? Half the state did north, half the state did south. I guess I got to start saying y'all because I always say you guys. I don't say yous. It's not like I live in New York, but I just, you know, I've always said, hey, you guys, where are you, going? Where are you guys going? Now it's like, hey, y'all, where are y'all from? I just, it just doesn't flow with me, so I gotta pick that up because I definitely, I don't have an accent. I just, I'm just a normal, just a normal dude. Hey, if you want to go to the Hollywood Wax Museum, there you go. Look at King Kong chilling out on the side of that with the biplane that he's got in his hands. Tell you what, though, if you have Instagram, like you could stop and get some really nice shots from all these places. But uh, that's neat if you're into that kind of stuff, like going to Max Muse Wax Museums. Me, I'm not so much. They do have, um, and I've never been to one. Actually drove by one the other day. Hey, look, there's some riders. Uh, they got a JMP Cycles, and that's actually, I believe, the next light up. Um, that's the first time I've ever seen one out here. Actually, a retail store. I know they have them in Florida and stuff. And they're building. Here's what I think is cool. A couple of my friends have already talked, and I've actually never been to one before because they're all in, I believe, mostly Texas and down south, a Bucky's. So uh, they're building that about 10 miles. So like right at the entrance to um, this road right here where you're coming in on the main road from the uh, Interstate 40, there's going to be a Bucky's, And that place is huge, so it's opening up in about a month or two. So my goal today is to continue to ride and just explore this area, kind of learn about it. And uh, because you'll be probably seeing a lot of videos from me in the future featuring some of the unknown roads out here and uh, not necessarily doing Pigeon Forge, you know, <laughs> sitting in traffic for 20 minutes and watching me sweat balls. Look forward to sharing my experiences with you guys. Now get out there and ride. Be well, and I will talk to you soon. Well, I spoke too soon about the traffic, I guess. Ugh!